Hey, welcome fellow art historians. Today we are going to be talking about um, one of uh, an artist I quite enjoy, Botticelli, uh, in particular his painting uh, Primavera. So uh, it was painted in 1482, a few years before Birth of Venus, which you might know it more. It's a more popular probably than the Primavera one. Both feature um, mythology. Botticelli really pulled from the literature and mythology, uh, and both feature Venus, of course. Uh, so Pete, what are we talking about? So if you can see this, oh, I'm looking at it here. So um, we have in the center Venus above her Cupid. Also, there's the three graces. We have Mercury on the left. He's holding his little caduceus and he's pushing back bad weather uh, that you know threatens to, to ruin the festivities. And then on the, the right there, we have Zephyrus, who um, you know, God of the Wind, and he's abducting uh, Chloris. And then he transforms Chloris into the um, into Flora, who actually is seen right next to Chloris. So it's a little little play with um, space and time. We see kind of a is this narrative playing out in one in one scene, which is interesting. And uh, Flora there, she's the goddess of spring. She's seen with a, a pregnant belly, you know, signs of fertility and abundance. Uh, her gown is all flowers. She's got a flower crown, flowers all, all around her. It's a really nice springtime theme here, um, as well as uh, this, this theme of uh, weddings. So it's believed that this was commissioned uh, by the Medicis. Uh, and there's uh, this orange grove in the background there. Um, oranges were kind of translated with medicinal apples. Uh, and Medici means doctors, so there's this tie in there with that. So it was the commissioned by the Medicis for um, it was believed to be a springtime wedding uh, for one of the, the family there. And um, it's, it suggests that earthly love is compatible with Christian theology. Uh, so you, you could have um, desire leading to lust and violence, seen with uh, the abduction with Zephyrus and Chloris there, or through reason and logic, um, which treats of Mercury, and that um, it really encourages people to seek um, God through love, through through this this strong bond of marriage and um, the the faith of, with you and your partner and, and seeking seeking God. Um, and uh, interesting thing, uh, Botticelli was actually a student of Lipe's, and Lipe had that uh, trademark uh, linear style where you know, contouring the figures, and we see that with uh, Botticelli's work as well. Also, at a time when um, in the Renaissance, when, when artists were really exploring, you know, correct anatomy and perspective, Botticelli sort of um, wasn't quite so concerned with that. He played with anatomy. They, they, there's these idealized figures, very soft and um, flowy, willowy kind of uh, figures here, and, um, and and his use of perspective, uh, he kind of flattens things out. He's not really concerned with that. You can really see it in uh, the birth of Venus. There, the whole the background is flat. There's no no real uh, depiction of space there. Um, also, another thing, uh, the way that artists would kind of get around depicting. Um, nude women was uh, it, we see in this painting there's the uh, the three graces and and chloris and these like very sheer sheer fabrics and birth of venus uh she's she's nude um they they would get around depicting nude women which wasn't really you know you weren't allowed to do uh by by setting them in, in mythology and there would be these mythological narratives where you could you could have a, a nude figure there so uh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, it, it's it's life size. He painted it um, 
primarily in life size. So it's a, it's a gorgeous piece. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs>